The owner of the Phoenix Suns, who's under fire for allegations of racism and misogyny after an ESPN report said that more than 70 current and former employees described a toxic and sometimes hostile workplace. The accusations rocking the NBA and the league is now launching a formal investigation. Will Reeve joins with the latest. Good morning, Will. Hey, good morning, Michael. Last season, the Suns were a feel-good story. They made a Cinderella run to the NBA Finals after years of struggle, so publicly, things were great. But as one employee told ESPN in that damning new report, if NBA Commissioner Adam Silver took a look at what was going on in Phoenix, he'd be appalled. Now, Silver and the NBA are taking that look, opening an investigation into Suns owner Robert Sarver amid those serious allegations. This morning, the NBA launching an investigation into Phoenix Suns owner Robert Sarver after an explosive ESPN story described several incidents of his alleged racist, sexist, and misogynistic behavior. In a statement, the league calling the allegations extremely serious, retaining outside counsel to examine Sarver's alleged racist comments over a number of years, including an alleged frequent use of an anti-black racial slur referring to players, graphic descriptions made in the workplace of sexual encounters with his wife, and fostering of a toxic workplace culture in his 17 years as owner. I read every word of that story and I, I got sick to my stomach. Overnight, Sarver releasing a statement strenuously denying the allegations, saying, the N-word is not part of my vocabulary. I have never called anyone or any group of people the N-word or referred to anyone or any group of people by that word. If it is true, then that's, you get him out of here. Sarver, who made his fortune in real estate and in 2009 paid a record $2.7 million federal fine to settle a Fair Housing Act case alleging racial discrimination in housing units he owned, attempted to preempt the ESPN report last month by releasing a statement denying what at the time were unprinted allegations saying eyewitness accounts directly contradict the reporter's accusations and we are preparing our response to his questions. In the published ESPN story, Sarver again denied the allegations through his legal team. In the ESPN report, Suns president and CEO Jason Rowley and general manager James Jones, who is black, supported Sarver, saying the story did not represent the Sarver they know. Suns head coach Monty Williams addressed the controversy before the team's game against the Houston Rockets on Thursday night. These allegations are, you know, sensitive is, is an understatement. As someone who's a caretaker of the program, I find all of these things that are being said serious. But all of it happened before I was here. If any of that stuff happened while I was here, I wouldn't be in this seat. In response to the ESPN story, Sarver and the Suns say they vehemently reject the claims and they welcome any investigation by the league to review and respond to these false accusations. Now, there's no time frame on the league investigation and no certain outcome. But in a comparable situation, in Adam Silver's first year as NBA commissioner, he banned L.A. Clippers then-owner Donald Sterling for life after he was recorded making a variety of racially disparaging comments and Sterling was forced to sell the team. George. Okay, Will Reeve, thanks very much. Hi everyone, George Stephanopoulos here. Thanks for checking out the ABC News YouTube channel. If you'd like to get more videos, show highlights, and watch live event coverage, click on the right over here to subscribe to our channel, and don't forget to download the ABC News app for breaking news alerts. Thanks for watching.